guys, Forever Sim Girl here. Okay, so I said I was gonna be doing Sims, um, Sims 4 videos on here, and because that won the polls, so I was like, okay, let's do this. Um, I want to apologize right now because I know the microphone is fuzzy. And I I um, looked over it when I was practicing this, but um, yeah, I apologize. I'm just using my headphones because I do not have a microphone, unfortunately. But I just want to test run, you know, doing this uh, Sims 4 Let's Play out. So, um, I'm going to keep my Sims videos within a range of 70, 17 to 20 minutes or so. So it's not too long. So, um, I'm just going to start the timer right now. It says 16 minutes actually. So, yeah. Let me start the timer right now. Okay. So, I'm going to explain to you, well, first of all, Thank you for tuning in. Um, I'm going to show you what this challenge is. As you can see right now, you're like, why is Pocahontas here? Why is Jasmine here? Why is Ariel here? Well, this is a princess challenge, Disney princess challenge. Um, I've seen YouTubers like Matt Shea do this kind of challenge, and I thought it was really fun. So I've done this challenge before, but I just didn't put it on YouTube because I wasn't a YouTuber at the time. So... I'm just going to introduce you to the princesses, and then I'll explain to you the rules. So, over here, we have Pocahontas. Her eyes are shut. Um, I didn't make their faces, because I am not good at that. So I had, like, you know, taken them off the gallery, and just decorated them myself. Like, you know, their makeup and their outfits. Them. Uh, I, I made that myself, but I didn't make their faces by scratch. I can't do that. And then, so I just named her Pocahontas Wind because of Colors of the Wind, because I didn't really see a last name. I kind of just did that for all the princesses, too. I took a name that was, like, something, okay, like, Colors of the Wind for Pocahontas, for example. I just used Wind for that. Anyway, um, that's Pocahontas. They're in their normal outfits. Uh, this is as close to Pocahontas as I can get. For her formal, I, I can't remember what I did, but I'll keep them, I'll try to keep them in her formal wear as much as possible. Especially when they're doing challenges. Cinderella, why? Why? I didn't even play these sims yet. How are you low hygiene? Oh, they're taking out the gallery, that's probably why. Oh well. Next we have Cinderella. She's in her working outfit. Cinderella. Why are you so mad? I think this is cute. I can't remember what pack this was from, but this is perfect. I had to put this on Cinderella. They didn't have a bonnet, so I just had this hair. I don't have any custom content on this game because my game will run slow than it needs to, so I'm just working with what I got here, guys. I named her Cinderella Glass because of her glass slipper. She's not wearing it right now. She's wearing her work clothes. Okay. So next we have Belle. I really like her. Her outfit is really cute. Even if it's her normal outfit. There was no dress. A um, blue and white dress. But I thought this was really cute. Closest to what I got. It's really cute. She looks mad too. Why are all the princesses mad? Oh well. But that's her. So cute. I was trying to decide between a dress that she could wear. You know her iconic yellow dress. So pretty. But uh, there's two dresses I was fighting over, but I had to choose one of them. I had to choose one. I might keep them in their everyday clothes as normal, but when they are doing challenges, I'll put them in their formal outfits or whatever. I think that's cool. And then we have, oh, oh yeah, forgot to tell you her last name. Her last name is Beauty, because of Beauty and the Beast. I don't really know their last names, so I just kind of chose my own. And then over here we have Mulan. She's so pretty. This is the closest I can get to her dress. She was the hardest to make. I think in Sims 3. The last time I did this challenge was in Sims 3 or so. And I loved it because I had the World Adventures pack installed and they had kimonos. I'm sorry if I <laughs> mispronounced that, but it was really beautiful the way I did her and uh, like I did her outfit in Sims 3. I was like, wow. But, have to work with what you got. But I think it's, she still turned out really pretty. 
So I named her Mushu, uh, Mulan Mushu, after her dragon. Because he's like one of my favorite characters in the movie. And I didn't really know what else to put for her last name. I just thought Mushu was pretty fun. Okay. And then we got Elsa. Okay, Elsa looks mad for real. Jeez. Why are they mad? They haven't even been in the game yet, and they're already mad. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Chill. Okay. I know what you're thinking. Why is she wearing green? Why does she have flowers and stuff on her dress? Okay, guys. I know. Okay, I know. I tried to get as close as, to, you know, closest to her, her coronation outfit as possible. And this is like, the closest I can get. Because you know the dress is green? Her coronation outfit is green. And it has the purple cape. But, you know, there's no dresses like that in Sims 4. And I don't have custom content installed. Because I don't want to mess up my computer like I did with Sims 3. Trust me. So, I just found this pretty dress. I thought, I thought it was cute. It was the closest I can get to her coronation outfit, guys. I'm sorry. And then I added her gloves because conceal don't feel right. So I thought that was a really, you know, little touch that I liked. Alright. Elsa, stop being salty. Come on now. Nothing to be mad about. Okay. Now we got Tiana. Oh, wait. Oh, keep forgetting to tell you guys their last names. Her last name is Frozen. She was actually made like that. So I just decided to keep it because... What else was I going to do? I know they officially do have a last name, but I didn't really know it, so I just didn't put it there. I kind of like the idea of making their own last names. I think Tiana's outfit, Tiana and Cinderella's outfit turned out the best. But right here we got Tiana Frog, because of Princess and Frog. And when I saw this outfit, I was like, yes! Because they finally, finally there's an outfit that looked exactly like hers. You just saw the outfit I was going to put on her until I saw this one. But I really love this. And they got the hair right and everything. I'm like, yes. Except the skirt isn't the right color. And, like, the shirt isn't the right yellow. And there wasn't, like, a pocket here on the, you know, her original outfit. But, you know, I'm like, whatever. I wish they had custom color in this one. That would be fun. But, yeah. She's really pretty. I'm just, I just really love how these princesses turned out. I'm really happy. If the best, out of all of them, the best ones that turned out the best, that, why am I saying best so much? I think of all, in my opinion, the one that turned out the best was probably Cinderella or Tiana. I can't really choose. They really turned out really good. But yeah. Next we have Jasmine. I really like her outfit. Whoa, that's probably high pitched. Sorry. I really like her outfit. Like, I love the shoes. When I saw this, I was like, bruh, I have to have these. Have to. That's a must. I had to. Whoever made her did a really good job. See, she's a happy princess. See? See? She's the only happy one. Aight. Makeup on fleek. Okay. I see you. I see you. Aight. So, yeah. That is Jasmine. And her last name is Aladdin, because of the movie she's from. And I thought that was pretty cool. I like her earrings. Okay. Um, I really like the crop top on this. This is really cute. I mean, obviously they're not all like the original princesses, but this is as close as I can get it. And I really like how she turned out. Okay, and last but not least, we have, we have Ariel. Okay, she's really happy. Aight. I see you. You're happy you're on land. I see you. Okay. We have Ariel. There's no mermaid tails in this game. So I just put her in a green long skirt that's closest to her color of her tail. And then I got her in a crop top. Or what do you call that? It's purple. Kind of like what she wears. I like her. How the hair turned out on her. I wish it was longer, but that's okay. So yeah. Oh, and I, her last name is Ocean because she's from the ocean. I didn't really know what else to put for her last name, so I just put her as Ariel Ocean. It's cute. 
Okay. So right now, guys, pause the video, click on the polls, and let me know who do you want to win this challenge. All right. I'll remind y'all later if you forget, but... So, now that we have all the characters covered, I'm now gonna tell you what is this challenge about. Okay. So, I said earlier that I saw Matt Shea do this challenge, and I thought it was really cool. And, I don't know, it was in one of his videos, he had a series of doing this. It was pretty funny. If, like, I think you guys should go check him out. Like, that's where I got this idea from. And I thought, hey, let's do this. I've seen someone do this with Disney princesses, but I can't remember who. So I was like, let me try this. This is fun. So yeah. What you do, well, I'm kind of putting my own rules into this, guys. I'm using some of what Matt Shea did. There's really no rules. You're basically taking out characters. That's basically all you do. There's, there's really no rules to this. I'm just going to make it my own challenge. I mean, not, I mean, I didn't make this up, but I'm just implementing my own rules. Like, I'm just not going to stick to a script. I'm just going to do it myself. Because I am being a rebel. <laughs> nah. So anyway, I just picked up the biggest plot of land I found in this neighborhood. Um, I think this is from the Get to Work neighborhood. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it is, though, if you guys were wondering. I, there's no there's no neighbors or anything by them so anyway my rules is that anyway okay I'm just gonna start from scratch okay so I have no house here right because the first challenge I'm thinking of doing is a pool challenge and you're like uh, okay but how are you gonna do that so I'm just gonna make a big pool on this whole terrain right here like the whole area of their house or lot and it's gonna be a race so they'll all jump in the pool and there's gonna be like a food or something here and then the last one to reach the food is you know gone they're disqualified they're killed off I know it sounds bad it sounds bad so I'm just gonna basically do a series of challenges like whoever finishing a whoever finishes a painting last because you know they all have different traits um, I'll go through the traits probably well if there's enough time I'll go through the traits if you guys really want me to but I just want to get you know explain this so you guys know what I'm pretty much doing so let's say there's a challenge where they whoever cooks the fastest whoever is you know the last one to finish their meal you know gets killed off next whoever finishing Whoever finishes the painting last gets killed off. Pretty much a series of challenges. Could be easy, could be hard. You know, and I saw Matt Shea do this one. <laughs> Whoever was the last one to get off the pool is the one who gets killed off. I might do that too. So yeah. After we get down to the, like, the last four princesses, or last three princesses, I'll, um, you know, build like a, I'll give, I'll, okay. So, I'll take care of them, like, since there's eight of them right now. They'll have a nice house. But, once we get to that four princess, three princess mark, that's when things get real. You see that house? You'll have a nice house. Oh, oh. You see the bathroom right there? You see the kitchen? Nope. Take away your beds? Yep. We'll take away your beds. And then we'll take away, you can also they'll be exhausted. And then we'll take away, you know, their TV so they don't have anything to entertain them and then we'll take away the food I know that sounds bad and we'll take away the bathroom too I know and then there will be a, a specific time where they'll be eating so it'll be like you know 12 a.m. or 12 p.m. I think those are the good times well no that's not really fair but well I think that is I think that is fair we'll see we'll see so I think they'll be fed at a specific time of the day and then whoever is, like, left will be, I'll start a series with them. So I think that's pretty cool, guys. So, like, let's say, let's say, since I'm on Ariel, but let's say she wins. Every prince is dead right now. Then we'll start a, um, a, you know, a family and stuff with Ariel. You know, it'll be pretty fun. I've never done that part of this before. I've, like, 
probably got sick of this, like, this whole thing when I last did this. Because, you know, it's pretty much killing off characters. It's pretty boring, to be honest with you. But it's pretty fun at the same time, just to see who's going to win. But then when you're the one playing it, it gets kind of old because you try to find new ways to kill off the characters. But, yeah. I think it's going to be fun starting a new chapter of their lives. Because, you know, with Disney, you always want to you know, you see the after ever after. But you want to see, like, you know, their whole family life and everything after. And then I'll let you guys tell me in the description. In the, why do I keep saying the description? The comment section down below, what y'all want me to do with their lives, like whoever wins. So yeah, now that I pretty much got the rules explained, um, I think we should get into this. Let me see what the time is right now. Um, well, I set the timer at like 16 minutes, but this has probably been going for long, like 18 minutes, or at least 17, so. But yeah, so... Before I end this episode here, because I just wanted to explain to you guys what was this, that this is about. I'm going to show you right now about the traits. Also, let me know if, like, I can't really fix the camera, I mean the, the microphone quality. Um, but if I'm talking too loud, let me know. Because I don't want to be shouting you guys' ears. I would feel really bad. I don't want to do that. I don't want to uh, shout in your ear because I can't really fix that fuzzy noise because I don't have a microphone. But I'm just using my Apple earbuds. <laughs> That's all I'm using. So I, I, I don't know. I, I can't really fix that. I'm sorry, guys. This is my first Sims video. I think it was much better on my old laptop. Oh, the alarm rang. But I'm going to... I'm going to um, show you guys the traits anyway, because I will forget if I don't do that right now. Um, let me find. Oh, okay. So I'll explain to you guys why I gave them these traits. So this is Ariel's traits right here. She's a vegetarian because she's a fish. Well, she's not a fish. Well, she's a mermaid. And of course she won't eat her friend Flounder or any of her mermaid friends or anything. So I gave her vegetarian. That would probably give her a big disadvantage. So I would try not to give them, you know, foods with meat if she, you know, gets to that point, if she's still alive. I gave her collector because, um, oops. I gave her collector because, uh, what's that one song? Part of that, part of my world, I think it's called. When she's, like, she has all these gadgets and gizmos and stuff. So that's why gave her that um cheerful because she's always happy guys look look at her she's happy she's always happy that's pretty much Ariel ocean and then um i hope we don't have any like relationship ties okay oh sorry i apologize if the music's loud too okay so now we got cinderella glass ariel you're in the way okay She's outgoing. Wait. I do not remember putting this trait as her. I don't remember putting this as a trait. Whoops. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, and that's one thing. They will not be leaving out the house, guys. They're not going to. They're not going to. I don't know. Did, I don't remember putting this as a trait. Whoops. Sorry. Must have been the person who created her put that there. And I just didn't check it. Oh, that's probably why. Yeah. Since these are pre-made sims, because I just wanted to use them for the faces, because I cannot create sims. I just, this that's not my forte. I can't do it. <laughs> Trust me. I did Tiana first, and she just turned out really bad, and I just was like, you know what? Let's go take someone off the gallery and just fix them up the way I wanted to. So, yeah. Um, I put her as neat because, well, I, I don't even know if I put her as, these traits as her. But she's neat because, you know, she's cleaning the house for her stepsister, stepsisters and stepmother. You know, the story of Cinderella. She's romantic because she wanted to go to that ball. I'm guessing that's why the person put that there. And she's Gregorous? I don't know. I don't know. I guess because she's friendly? I don't know, guys. I don't know. Um, yeah. They, yeah, I didn't, I didn't do this friend of the world well I guess that makes more sense yeah and I put 
this for Ariel. Angling ace. Fish out of water. <laughs> literally. Literally, she is. Right? No? That was a terrible joke, guys. Okay, I think that was a terrible joke. Okay. I don't even think that was a joke. Let's move on to Pocahontas. Uh, I put this... I put her as freelance botanist. I think I pronounced that wrong. Nature walker. See? She likes to... She likes to be with the colors of the wind. Everything is her friend in nature. I support that. Her traits are good. Because she's a, she was a good person in the movie. I think all princesses were good people. She's active because she's always running and jumping and, you know, everything. She's always, you know, she's just one with nature. She's always running. And then, um, loves the outdoors because she loves nature. Collector. I don't remember why I put her as a collector. Yeah, I don't remember why I put her as a collector. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's from the nature aspiration. That's why they have four. Okay, that's from the nature's aspiration. I didn't, I didn't put her as a collector. That was from the nature. Okay. Whoops. Okay, let's move on to Belle. Belle is self-assured because she's confident in what she believes. Wait confident in what she believes in. Well, I guess it does make sense. She was. She's a bookworm, and I was so happy to give her this trait. I was so ready to give her this trait. Because she is always reading books. First thing in the movie, she's in the library picking out books. Um, I didn't choose... This isn't, this isn't a trait. This fourth trait right here is not a trait. It comes from the aspiration. She's a quick learner. Well, I guess she was. And then she's family-oriented. Because she, she was willing to move in with the beast to save her dad. That's goals. And then I put her as a renaissance sim. Prudent student. Hmm. I just picked this one because it just seems smart. Because she was a smart person. She liked books. Okay. Let's move on to Mulan. I'm probably going past the time limit I set. Okay. Her aspiration is successful lineage. Uh, readily ap apparent. Hmm. I don't know why I put her as that. It was really hard to pick her as one. I guess I just put her as under that because of her family orient self. Because she was really family oriented. See, she was just like um, Belle. She went into war because of her dad. She didn't want her dad to go because he was falling ill and he was old. And that was really nice of her to do. Um, okay, I put her as loves the outdoors because she was training outdoors she was in the war outdoors um i guess this one is domestic right here yeah because she really loved her family that ties in with family oriented i put her as active because she was training about every day you, s you guys saw her climb up the pole with the heavy um medallions you know, th that was cool i was like wow <laughs> that's pretty cool so yeah that's probably going to give her a really good advantage. Some of these traits will have a good advantage on these sims, and some of them will have a bad event, like a disadvantage on the sims. So right here we have Elsa, family oriented, because she, all she wanted was the best for Anna. She didn't want to strike her again, so she always stuck with the conceal don't feel. She always hid herself from Anna. And you guys are probably mad that I put, didn't put Anna, but I'm sorry guys, I, I could only put eight sims. There's so many princesses I wanted to put in here, but I couldn't. So, I put her as loner because conceal don't feel the gloves. Um, she always excluded herself. She always ran away from her problems, but only because she had to, kind of. She's kind of forced to. I don't know why I put... Oh, again, this is from the aspiration. I put her as loves the outdoors because, you know, she built that huge tower in the snow. She wasn't, she wasn't scared of the cold. The cold doesn't bother her, bother her anyway. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. We got that. And her aspiration was painter extraordinaire. I know she didn't paint at all, guys. I know. But there wasn't a house building thing. So, that's the closest I could get. It was either writer or that. And I wanted her to have creativity because that, that, like, castle was created out of ice. Hm, teach me. Okay. So, we got Tiana here. Her um, aspiration is Master Chef. 
Um, well, because she, in the movie, she wasn't originally a princess like most of these princesses are, but she did want to open up her um, a restaurant in honor of her dad. Oops. Okay. So I put her as self-assured because she was really confident. She didn't let anything in the way of her confidence. Um, she was a foodie because she wanted to be a chef, obviously. You gotta be a foodie. Um, she was ambitious of her goals of b building her restaurant. She didn't want to take free stuff from people. She wanted to, she put in hard work into her efforts. And look where I got her. She got her restaurant in the end and she became a princess. How cool is that? And this is from the aspiration, Essence of Flavor. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that fits her. Okay. And then we got Jasmine. She's self-assured because she's confident. She was really confident in me. I don't know if she doesn't have a fourth trait. That's pretty weird. Did I not set her an aspiration? Okay, she was romantic because of a whole new world. Yes. Roast my singing in the comments. Roast it. <laughs> Roast it. But yeah, because it was just really cute. That was a cute scene. And then, yeah, I did not choose this. Yeah, she was not business savvy. Oh, that was from her aspiration. Oh, I must have been one short of her trait. Oops. And then I put her as fabulously wealthy. Because she was wealthy, obviously, in the movie. She was a princess to begin with. Her dad was rich. She was rich. Yeah. Okay. And now... Oh. Oh, I didn't do Cinderella? Wait, I did. Okay. I think I got all of the traits in. But, yeah, guys, I think I'm well over my goal of the time. But in the next episode, we will get into gameplay. Um, I think I'll have the pool ready by then, so you guys don't have to, like, watch me build it or anything. It's pretty. It's going to be a pr pretty simple course. There's going to be a starting point where they just walk up or something, and then I'll have one of them cook food and put it here. And I'll fix Cinderella's needs so they all have a fair advantage in winning. So it's not fair. I don't want to be called and be like, Ah, oh, that's not fair. Cinderella was not happy to begin with. So I was like, okay. I'll just do that. So yeah. I'll have the pool ready in the next episode so we can jump right in and start with our first challenge. Someone for sure is going to be out by the next challenge. I don't know who. You guys tell me. Um... Right now, go into polls, and or go into po well polls is probably cool because I like seeing, you know, everything else, like everything you guys like like to see. I think the polls are really helpful. But go into polls. I'll put all the Disney princesses' names and tell me which Disney princess you guys want to see win. And yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, so I'll do that. And then you guys can tell me in the comments, too. Honestly, I'm not really rooting for anybody. I'm fine with, who, with whoever wins. Honestly, I'm just ready to be shocked. I, I just want to be shocked. <laughs> I'm fine with whoever wins. I don't really have a specific princess I want to win because I love all of them. That's why I chose them. Duh. But I just really like these princesses. And like I said, um, when they do their challenges, I'll put them in their formal wear which is their iconic dresses. Um, but as for now, with their everyday wear, I put them in their regular working clothes or whatever they were in in the movie. So yeah. I'll have that done by the next episode, so you guys don't have to stick to that. But thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Get your homies, family, friends to watch. Guys, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers. So help me out, y'all. Help me out. <laughs> let's build this. Let's build this community. Like, seriously. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for watching again. <laughs> Don't forget to <laughs> keep snapping, keep chatting, keep shining. Stay beautiful. Peace.